hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is my first video on my channel and in this video i will be discussing sql coding interview questions asked in various companies so this is the part one of the series which is of very basic level in the upcoming days i will be bringing more and more videos in this series and the question will be of all the levels like basic intermediate or hard etc these type of question are basically asked in various interviews like entry level position interviews or experience level position interviews and basically if you are from data stream like big data etl developer data science data analyst etc then surely you will get some question from sql in one of the round yeah so these are the question which are going to help you in all the, these type of interviews yeah so this is the question we have given data as table x and table y having only one column in each table table x this is the column only single column in table x which is named as x and this is table y having only one column which is named as column y and the problem statement is what will be the result of following joins on the above two table using column x and column y inner join left outer join right outer join and full outer join that is we need to write the result set of all these joins on these two table table x and table y so let's see our first <coughs> question which is which is in a join on table x and table y using column x and column y so as per the definition of in a join it returns the records from table 1 and table 2 which are matching that means we will get only those records from table x and table y which are matching so uh, let's see like if we need to print column x and column y in our result set then how our result will look like let me discuss that thing but at first let's see how the query will look like so this is the table x and this is the table y this is the table x this is the table y and uh, this is the inner join query select x comma y that means from table a we are selecting x and from table b we are selecting y from table x a inner join table y b on a dot x equals to b dot y yeah so let's see how it will uh, how we will get the result firstly we'll go to this 8 and now we will start searching that we do we have this value in this column in this uh, by column so if we can see the first value is null so 8 is not equals to null so we will not get this uh, record in our result set now 8 is equals to 8 as we can see both the results are correct so we will get this result in our result set so 8 and 8 we will get now again it will be in 8 only and uh, from in by column it will go to 8 again so as both of them are equal so we will get 8 and 8 here now the pointer will move to this null value now it will check in the y column so the important point here is that two nulls are not <coughs> equal that means two nulls are not comparable that means if we have null in this column and null in this column then we can't say that they those are equal so if they are not equal then they will not come in our result set yeah so now the null will get compared to 8 so as null is not equal to 8 so we will not get this value as well so now null is not equal to this 8 as well so we will not get this result as well so now our next result is next pointer will go to this 4 and will it will check that 4 is equals to null no is 4 equals to 8 no is 4 equals to 8 no so for in a join we will get only this data so let's compile this query and see what will be our output <coughs> yeah so you can see this is our output for the in a join so that's it for the in a join so now our next query is for the left outer join so as per the definition of the left outer join in left outer join we will get the matching record from the left and the right table that is table x and the table y as well as the record from the left table which are not matching with the values in the right table that means we will get all the values for the table x whether it is matching with uh, the records in this column or not matching at all so firstly let me show you the how the query for this will look like yeah so this is the query select x comma y from table x a left outer join table by b on a dot x equals to b dot y 
it is similar to inner join but here we are using left outer join yeah so let me show you the processing of this join as well so initially our pointer will go to this column which is the first column for the left table and now it will start comparing the value is 8 equals to null no so we will not get anything in the result set so is 8 equals to 8 yes so we will get this value in our result set so we will get like this now it will go to this is 8 equals to 8 yes so we will get these values now it will go to this null and start comparing it with this null so as we have already told that two nulls are not equal so nulls are not comparable at all so we will not get this record in our result set now it will start comparing with 8 is null equals to 8 no is null equals to 8 no so we will not get anything for this but as for the definition of the left outer join we will get everything from the left table so that means we need to include this result as well so how we will include so we will add this value and for the right table we will simply add null now it will go to 4 and it will start comparing this 4 with null is 4 equals to null no is 4 equals to 8 no is 4 equals to this 8 no so we will not get anything so that means uh, this 4 is not matching with any value in this uh, right table but as per the definition of the left outer join we need to include this 4 so how will we will include it as 4 and for right table we will simply add null so this is our result set for the left outer join so now let's uh, run this query again in the ms sql server and see if our result is correct or not yeah so you can see we are getting the correct result and this is how the left outer join will work yeah now the next query is for the right outer join so right outer join is nothing but it is uh, directly opposite to the left outer join so that means in right outer join as per the definition of the right outer join we will get all the records which are matching in the left and the right table as well as the records from the right table which are not matching with the values in the left table that means simply we will get all the values from the this right table so let me first show you the query for this so this is the query for the right outer join select x comma y from table x a right outer join table by b on a dot x equals to b dot by so this is our left table this is our right table so now let's see how the functioning will happen for this yeah so firstly if we can see let me first remove these values yeah firstly the pointer will go to this null value and it will start comparing this is our right table and this is our left table so is this null equals to 8 no is this null equals to null no as we have already discussed is this null equals to 4 no but as per the definition of the right outer join we will include all the values from the right table that means we need to include this null as well and for this for the left outer join we will simply include null value now it will go to the 8 so is 8 equals to 8 yes so we will get this result in our result set now it will start comparing this 8 with the null is 8 equals to null no is 8 equals to 4 no so we will get only this record now it will again go to this result set this uh, record which is 8 so it will start comparing it with 8 is 8 equals to 8 yes so we will get this is 8 equals to null no so we will not get anything is 8 equals to 4 no so we will not get anything so this is the result from our right outer join so let's see by comparing this with this query by comparing the result we will get from this query yeah so this is the result so we can see this is the logic which we are using for the right outer join so now the last query is for the full outer join so full outer join is nothing but it is the mixture of left outer join plus right outer join and also for your information here i am using ms sql server uh, and uh, right outer join and full outer join are supported in this ms sql server but there are some server like sql light in those server right outer join and uh, full outer join are not supported so if you need to <coughs> perform the functioning of right outer join and full outer join in those 
databases then you need to use only left outer join and you just need to reverse the position of the tables and by that way you will get the result for right outer join as well as full outer join anyways let's discuss how we will get uh, the records for the full outer join so as per the definition of the full outer join we will get all the records which are matching in the two tables or as well as the records from both the tables which are not matching that means from this table also we will get all the records and from this table also we will get all the records whether it is matching with this table or not so let's see how it will happen yeah so firstly it will go to this 8 and we can see now we will start comparing is 8 equals to null no is 8 equals to 8 yes so we will get this record here now is 8 equals to 8 yes so we will get this record once again now it will go to null is null equals to this null no so we will not get anything is null equals to 8 no so we will not get anything again is null equals to this 8 no so again we will not get anything now as we know that as for the definition of full outer join we will get all the records from this table which are uh, matched as well as the records which are not matched as well so we can see this null has not been matched with any record but we will get this also and this will get null now we will go to this 4 and we can say this 4 is not present here so as per the definition of the left outer join we will get this record as well because like uh, we need to mention all the records from both the tables whether it is matched or if it is not matched now we can see in this table if we come to null do we have included this null no we haven't included because we know two nulls are not equal so now we will start comparing this null with this 8 is this null equals to 8 no is is this null equals to null no and now is this null equals to 4 no so that means for this null there is no matching record but as per the definition of full outer join we need to include this null as well in our result set so we will include this as well and for this in left table we will simply add null now we can see these eight both the eights are already included so we don't need to include them once again so this will the result set from our from our full outer join so let's see this by compiling the query for the full outer join which we have written here yeah so you can see we will get the same result so this is the logic behind the full outer join as well so there are two things which we need to keep in mind one is that two nulls are not equal so we just need to provide our records uh, or but we can say result set according to that and second thing is that right outer join and the full outer join are not supported in all the uh, databases so if we need to perform the similar thing in other database then we have to use left outer join so that's it from my side guys if you have any feedback or any question you have then you can put all those things in the comment section and i will try to answer all those questions and if you like this video then please do share and subscribe my channel thank you thanks all